Hello, Peter Cabot's office. Yes, this is Gary Thompson calling. Hi, Gary. Howdy. Yeah, I vote canvassed with Peter a few times and made him aware of this issue. Okay. Um, he, Ontario, the Ministry of Health teaches the wrong life-threatening protocol for drug overdose. Uh -huh. So what's happening is non-drug overdoses are also winding up with permanent brain damage or else in the morgue from lack of oxygen. I, I, I phoned up the Ministry of Health office, Christine Elliott's office, yeah. and recorded one of her staff, his name's Paul. His family owned a first aid and CPR training company, mm -hmm. and he admits that's wrong. What the me? He admits that's wrong. Okay. Uh, Natalie Cusandova, MD. Yeah, uh, Paul, can I just put you on hold for one second? Yeah. Gary, hang on a second. Yeah. Hi, Gary. Sorry about that. My name's Rob Kaufman. Uh, Luis just had to run to the phone. Um, okay. Okay, do you want me to start from the beginning? If you don't mind, I'm sorry. No problem. Um, the Ministry of Health is teaching the wrong resuscitation protocols. It's up on their website. I phoned Christine Elliott's office and was talking to one of her staff named Paul. His family owns a first aid and CPR training company, and he admits what the ministry is teaching is wrong. Natalie Cusandova... She's an MP from Mississauga. She's an RN. I have her staff on tape admitting we don't know how many people have been killed. We don't have the numbers, but errors are being made. Natalie... This is, this is on the Ministry of Health website. Yeah, the instructions, yeah. The, 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 all the instructions up on the Ministry of Health website for naloxone, get naloxone kits free. All the signs, they say, the person's in a coma, labored shallow breathing, blue-colored skin, making gurgling noises, pinpoint pupils. That's any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency, and they need rescue breathing ASAP. The Ministry of Health suggests give them naloxone and then give them rescue breathing or chest compressions only. No, that's wrong. It's any respiratory emergency uh -huh. is breast ASAP every second you're delaying rescue right. breathing there every cell tissue and organ is dying oxygen deprivation their blood chemistry is taught has become toxic from lack of oxygen you have to supply rescue breathing ASAP it'll normalize the heart rate and it'll uh, normalize the blood chemistry but you could die any second without oxygen you know the Danforth shooter? Yeah. Well, his brother's left in a permanent coma and lack of... Somebody forgot to give him some rescue breathing. I told public health back in 2011, someone is going to kill their own child, be so distraught, they're going to pick up a gun, come in here and shoot all your staff. And the judge is going to let them go because the judge would say, I would have done the same thing, taught me how to murder my child. And it's happened. And parents have committed suicide after they found out they killed their own children. So, uh, is, the, so is the training, like, who, who, just, who does the right training and who? who um, any certified trainer like the Red Cross or the St. John Ambulance, they give the proper, it's never ever changed. I know the doctor that, 20 years of research, his name's Dr. Gordon Avey, about chest compressions only, me and him are friends. He says they're killing people. Because it's for, Heart and Stroke Foundation wrote them a letter back in 2013 and said stop doing that. I'm published in the resuscitation guidelines. I'm the only moderated comment up on the Heart and Stroke Foundation's website. Because chest compressions only is for a sudden witnessed cardiac arrest by a lay person who's never been trained. Yet public health districts in this province are training people up to 90 minutes long a training session to give chest compressions only for someone who's alive. Mayor John Tory and acting medical officer health Dr. Barbara Yaffe 
of Toronto before Elaine de Villa and made a press conference. Said rescue brain's the most important part. John Tory says this is causing people their lives quite literally. The only other politician that I know of that said anything is Giorgio Mammoliti of all people. Because all the staff, all the, uh, the whatchamacallit, councillors down there at City Hall know about it. And Giorgio Mammoliti's right pissed. He, they had a Dr. David McEwen when he was medical officer of health. Him and and Kara Danis were both giving him a gears about um, it was the hookah issue in Toronto, and uh, they the staff interjected while Mamalidi had his five minutes, and they called security on him. But sec they, the security guards didn't come and get Mamalidi because every security guard down there knows what they're doing is wrong, right? So every yeah, all different kinds of health districts. It's a whole mismatch. The executive director at Health Canada got canned in January for blowing the whistle because ha Health Canada in September used to say start with rescue breathing, of course, but they removed it in October last year. The executive director sent me a letter October the 1st, and so I shared it around. Oh, I got. Are they, I've are got. They looking into it, or are they going to change nah, it? Or? No, no, apparently not. I've got letters from them from the years. I was the twentieth person to take this training back in when it first. No, no, but I was just wondering about. Well, your then, no, your expertise. Yeah. On that, well, a thousand doctors went to the legislature, and um, when Kathleen Wynne was premier, and had a sit down with Kathleen Wynne, the letter was addressed to Hoskins the Federal Minister of Health, uh -huh. the Provincial Dirk Heyer, the Ontario's coroner, and Dr. David Williams, and said it's rescue breathing. And they know, Kathleen Wynne says, oh, I'll get Hoskins to look into it. Hoskins didn't even bother replying. Jesus, the, I go to the legislature, I got... Now, Bill Fye, Doug Ford, I tried to save his brother Rob Ford's life back in 2013. God. In 2013, there was a, a rumor that there was a video of D Rob smoking crack. So I went to public health. I says, well, I guess this live human study can end till the mayor smokes too much, drinks too much, has a diabetic coma, a stroke, or chokes on the extra gravy. The doctors at Toronto Public Health started laughing their heads off. Yeah, 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 kill the mayor, Gary, kill the mayor. So I went over, I took a friend of mine, I says, follow me, this is going to be interesting. So I told Rob about it, and he says, well, Toronto Public Health's not my jurisdiction. I shook my head, I says, do I got to go to Montreal or Windsor to save your life? Doug Ford knows all about it. God, about me trying to save Rob Ford's life. The next time I ran into Rob Ford down at City Hall, he's with Joe Mahavik. We're 10 feet apart. Joe Mahavik, the chair of the Board of Health, says, Rob, see, that's Gary Thompson. He's trying to save your life. <laughs> the Board of Health does nothing. I made a deputation with a bunch of doctors there November the 12th in front of the Board of Health. We we're talking about violence. And I says, this is violence. It's mental violence and physical violence because they're making themselves sick, denying what they're doing is wrong. Anyway, I talked to Peter about this issue several times. Peter said, okay, that's a no-brainer. That's wrong. <laughs> I know. You teach them. You teach people to do it. They follow the doctor's orders. And a doctor can't tell what's causing a breathing emergency, except give air ASAP. Never ever pound on a beaten heart. A child knows it. When you come across these people, somebody that's uh, comatose, you can obviously tell they're alive. They're breathing. Not very well, but they're breathing. That means your heart's beating. You know, and so all these people are pounding on, pounding on their beaten heart. Uh, there's over a million people taken to the hospital 
with a respiratory emergency per year in this province. There's less than 15,000 out of hospital cardiac arrest, and to witness a cardiac arrest is even rarer than that. And it's costing you a fortune. There's so many left permanent brain damage. And then there's going to be a billion dollar class action suit against the government. The taxpayer pays for that one too. I got the College of Physicians Surgeons on tape. Oh, that's wrong. Ooh, ooh, don't do that. Of course, because they're killing doctors too. You okay, think? well, maybe I can look into it, Gary, and, and uh, yeah. uh, the Talbans can, can be in contact with the ministry to find out what's going on. Yeah, well, you know, um, yeah, name, Gary? Thompson, T H O M P S, Gary Thompson, G A R Y T H O M P S O N. You can find. Oh, sorry, you just said Thompson with a P? Yeah, with a P. S O N, right? Yeah, Thompson, T H O M P S O N. Okay, Gary, where do you and live, by, by chance? I'm down in uh, Dolly Begum's uh, okay. writing. Um, a good friend of ours is, is Peter's, is, uh, well, <laughs> what's her name? Tina Fabish. Yeah, yeah. Tia's a friend of, uh, of the office, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, Peter just made a little video about education with the dog Ford, uh, a YouTube video. I put all the information. Well, you can find all the information up on my Twitter, at GaryCPR. I got the conversation with the Ministry of Health there, G-A-R-Y-C-P-R on my Twitter. And my deputation with all the medical references, the submission okay. to the Board of Health and the Ministry of Health on tape. All right. Well, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can get access to his, uh, you said it's on Facebook? No, Twitter, at Gary oh, CPR. Okay. Yeah, just Google it up, at Gary CPR. And uh, there's the phone conversation with the Ministry of Health, and then there's my submission to the Board of Health with all the medical references. Great. You do that. I'm just trying to okay. save lives, buddy, and it's a no, no, no brainer. Yeah. Because yeah. chil yeah. when children, children know it, they take it in public school how the heart and lungs work. And when you lose trust in your uh, authority figures, it makes them run wild. Right. Yeah. Well, let me look into it, okay? You have a great day, my man. Okay, Gary, I'm glad you called. My name is yeah. Rob. I'm not sure if I introduced myself. Yeah, you did, shortly. Okay, right. you have a, yep, tell Peter, have a good one. And oh. get, give that dog food shit. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Dog food shit. Dog food shit. Dog food shit. Yeah, it's good. Dog food. Leans over to Vic Vitelli. See that guy? That's Gary Thompson right over there. He could sink us all. Yeah, because he's a fucking mass murderer. And everybody likes it. Tom. So,